Hi, I'm Don Pizzette, the host of IT Pro TV. One of the popular questions we get around here is, how do I get started in IT? You know, it, it, you see the IT Pro TV website and all the different things that we offer, but if you're just starting out, you know computing experience, it can be really confusing. So I wanted to take a minute to talk to you and, and just kind of describe that initial process, right? Uh, you know, a lot of our viewers are not currently in IT. They come from other industries, restaurant, construction, whatever it is, right? And, and most of us, the, the hosts and, and employees of IT Pro TV, a lot of us came from, from other backgrounds. So, so we can speak firsthand about how to, to break into this career field. Uh, the first thing that we really need to do is we need to establish basic computer knowledge. Now, that's regardless of what IT career field you pursue. You know, there's really certain divisions inside of IT. Some people choose to become programmers and developers, right? And that, that's not really what, what we develop here at IT Pro TV. We work with people who want to become what we call systems administrators. These are the people who are operating servers and workstations, making the actual equipment run, building up the infrastructure that supports all the applications that we run. It's a very important role. It's one that has, has been around for a long time, so it's an established career field, and it really is the best point of entry for moving into IT. Once you get that basic career established, then you can start to specialize and move into other things. You know, it, security is a real hot button today. A lot of people say, man, I want to get into IT security. I, I hear it's a great career field. Well, it is a great career field, but it's not a career field you can get into without any experience. You can't walk into an employer and say, hey, I can secure your network. I've never worked on a network before, but I can definitely secure yours, right? It's not a realistic expectation. So we need to start out with the, the introductory technologies, the foundational information. Then once you get a little bit of experience under your belt, you know, once you've spent some time in the industry, then you move into the specializations like networking and security and mobile, wireless, things like that, that are, are definitely hot button careers, things that people are, are really looking for in the industry but you've got to get your start somewhere, all right? Our general recommendation here for someone that is starting out is the CompTIA a certification. Let, let's take a look at that real quick. I'm going to bring up, this is the CompTIA's website. Uh, CompTIA is the Computer Technology Industry Association, and they are a nonprofit organization that's actually a, a, a conglomerate or confederate or, or whatever uh, of a number of IT companies. So Microsoft, IBM, uh, Oracle, several other organizations are all a part of the CompTIA. And they create vendor neutral certifications that certify that you have a base level of experience in certain areas. And they've got a ton of certifications. Uh, I'm on their website, comptia.org. And if we just go to certification over here, whoops. Uh, if we know how to click our mouse. Uh, you can come in here and you can see all the different certifications that they have. Now, they do have a lot of certifications, but the one they're most well known for is this guy right here, the CompTIA A+. The A+, certification, it has a long history. I, I got my A+, when I, I was uh, starting out with certifications. Uh, I got mine in 1999. So. Um, depending on when you watch this video, that was about 16 years ago. And so it, it's been around even longer than that. You know, it had been around a while before I got in, involved in it. But what it does is it certifies that you have the equivalent of basically one year of, or they say, you know, six months to, to two years of experience working in the field doing computer support, all right? So maybe you're a hobbyist, right? Uh, you've got a computer, you love to work with it, you, you've installed some operating systems, maybe, maybe you built your own computer, you ordered a bunch of parts and put them together. You probably have a good level of technical expertise, enough to be able to go out and get a help desk job. But if your resume doesn't show any experience, any experience working in the field, an employer will look at it and say, well, you say you're good at computers, but..." How do I know, right? And, and they, they don't. They don't have a way to know. A certification is what fills in that gap. So if you take and pass the two CompTIA a exams, you get the a certification. And that tells the employer, hey, I've got the equivalent of that set of knowledge. You don't have to guess. You don't have to wonder about whether I have it. I've, I've passed the test that shows that I've got it. That's the purpose, really, of every certification. It validates your knowledge. You may have gotten that knowledge in a classroom. You may have gotten that knowledge from working in the field over many years. You may have gotten that knowledge just from reading a book, right? Uh, plenty of people can learn that way. But at the end of the day, how do you prove to a, a potential employer that you actually know it? The certifications do that, all right? If you are starting out with absolutely zero, 
and you're looking to get into a systems administrator job or a security job, a networking job, you're not going to be able to do that without starting at the foundational level. All right? CompTIA A plus is generally what we recommend. Now, if you don't want to work on servers and you don't want to work on desktops, you specifically want to get into networking right, and, and security, you want to go those routes. Well, in those scenarios, you might choose to bypass A plus. Right? The A plus, you're going to learn about uh, you know, how to replace hard drives, how to set up video adapters, how to install operating systems. These are all core components of supporting desktops and servers. All right? But if that's not the field that you want to get into, if you want to get into networking and security, well, CompTIA has the CompTIA Network Plus certification. And that Network Plus certification is like A+, except it focuses on the networking side of things. And so it tackles setting up a network, the different types of networks, addressing on a network, how computers communicate, which is critical if you're going to go into, say, like Cisco certifications or security side, you know, those kind of things. This is foundational knowledge you need. All right. So when we started the IT Pro TV show, these were the first two certifications that we tackled. We have produced episodes that cover every single exam objective for the CompTIA A Plus and CompTIA Network Plus exams. So you can sit down, fire up your IT Pro TV subscription, watch through those episodes, and learn all of that content. It, it's all right there. It, it's entertaining. Some of the episodes are, are pretty fun, um, but most of them are, are at least uh, exciting. Uh, but, uh, but you can watch them, you can see all that information, you can post your questions on the IT Pro TV side, and we'll, we'll answer and make sure you get the information you need. So it's all there for launching that career, right? Once you get your A plus certification, at that point, you're now marketable as an IT professional. You should be able to apply for really any kind of help desk, uh, field support, field technician, warranty support, positions like that, right? Now these are, these are introductory level right, or entry level positions, you're not going to make $100,000 a year doing something like this. Uh, depending on the size of the city that you're in, you'll probably make somewhere between thirty dollars and $50,000, right? Uh, again, if you're in a very small city, it's hard to pull higher incomes. But if you're in New York, it's very easy to pull higher incomes. So, so that's what you can expect in the beginning. But you don't stop there. You get that first certification. You go out and you get that job. Now you're in IT. Now you're getting real world experience while you work and you continue to advance through higher certifications, right? Once you have your A plus and net plus, then you can start to pick your specialization. You can say, you know what? I really want to learn Windows servers. And so I'm going to work on a Microsoft MCSA or MCSE and start moving into uh, the Windows desktop operating systems and Windows servers. You can become an expert, and then you can move your career up. You can move from being a help desk or field support tech to being a system admin, right? to working on servers, to working in the, the data centers and, and doing the really exciting stuff. Or you can say, you know what? I'm going to go security. You can move into Security Plus and CASP and, and the other certifications that are out there and start to move into that security field. And now you can start doing audits and evals and, and penetration testing and all that really exciting stuff there that, uh, that can really pull a, a high income these days. Or you can say, you know what, I'm a networking guy. I want to go the Cisco route. I'm going to move into the Cisco CCNA and CCNP, start working with routers and switches, and get out of that server room and get into the network closet, right? Start running the cable and getting, getting those kind of environments built up. That, that's what I like. That's my, my personal niche. So, uh, so, you know, everybody kind of picks that specialization. But if you want to be successful, if you want to get into IT as quickly as you can to start building that experience, you want to start at the foundation. You want to start at that A plus level and move up from there. All right? That's my big piece of advice. It's what I did in my own personal career. I, uh, you know, I went to college. But my plan was to become an attorney. I, I was doing political science in college. And I was selling shoes at Walmart. That, that's what I was doing when I was in college. And I decided, you know what? I want to start an IT career. And so I looked. And, and I had been working with computers as a hobby. I had been building them, tearing them down, you know, and so on. So I tried running my own business for a little while. That, that didn't work out so well. But, uh, but then finally, in, in 1999, I said, hey, you know what? I, I need to go to work for a company and, and actually get true experience on my resume. And I looked for certifications. I found A+, and it really worked out well for me. All of our other hosts, um, Ronnie, Mike, Nate, hey, all of them, uh, Wes, they all started with A+. It's a proven formula. You start out there, and you're setting yourself up for success. So that'd be my big recommendation for you. 
after that, you kind of choose your own future. You pick your path and you move on. So uh, we hope you enjoy the content we have here at IT Pro TV. We recognize that, that our content, it, it's good content, but it may not be right for you. So whatever option you choose out there, my advice still stands true, right? Definitely nail those foundational topics first and then move into your specializations. That's the way to go. Good luck to you. And as always, you know, let us know if there's anything we can do for you. You can reach out to us on our website at itpro.tv. We hope to see you there. Thank you.